San Diego, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, joined the Navy SEAL Foundation for the opening of a revolutionary training facility for veterans in downtown San Diego. The Sussexes, along with Navy SEAL Foundation leaders, veterans and their families officially opened the Warrior Fitness Program West Coast facility with a ribbon cutting ceremony on Wednesday evening. The ceremony was also attended by 250 Naval Special Warfare personnel and their families. The facility features state-of-the-art fitness and workout resources, rehabilitation technology, and advanced biometric tracking systems. The new space boasts an 11,169 square foot gym with more than 8,000 square feet of quiet and specialty spaces in its upstairs areas. The Warrior Fitness Program aims to optimize human performance for warriors on the battlefield, transitioning to civilian life or retired from service, the Navy SEAL Foundation said. The Navy SEAL Foundation said the brand new facility will help active duty and veteran naval special warfare personnel heal physically and mentally from combat. Prince Harry has supported various U.S. Veterans Foundations since moving to California, and it's not his first visit to San Diego. In June, the Duke of Sussex attended the Department of Defense's annual Warrior Games at Naval Station North Island. Prince Harry also made another surprise appearance at a Chula Vista movie theater in August. Moviegoers were astonished when the Duke of Sussex spoke to attendees and posed for selfies before a screening of his Netflix docuseries, Heart of Invictus. Thank you all for joining us this evening as we celebrate the grand opening of the Warrior Fitness Program facility. It's a custom-built facility with a hand-picked staff. And this is what former SEAL and really the project manager of the Navy SEAL Foundation, Tony Dunsty, had to say about how special it was to have the Prince and Princess of Sussex. We're thrilled that the Duke and Duchess are here. It's quite an honor for them to be here for the commissioning. They've proven through the Archwell Foundation their commitment to veteran causes domestically and internationally. Specifically, they've really destigmatized mental health issues for those who have gone through military service. And they've done that with courage. And it's just great validation to have them here. It's a great signal of partnership internationally and we're honored to have them here for the grand opening.